Welcome to another Warcraft Rumble video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Time to take the Headless Horseman for a spin, guys, and see what this mini can actually do. Is it good? Is it bad? First, I just want to say a big shout out to Blizzard for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to download Warcraft Rumble, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. Now, I really wanted to release this video way earlier than this because I got the mini over one week ago. The problem that I have is that I don't seem to manage to get a talent for him. And I was really, really waiting to be able to uh, put on a talent as well, just to be able to use, uh, use the mini in a much better way, right? So at the moment, no talent, unfortunately. I only had one of the talents appear on the, uh, on the grid, to be honest. Probably I spent around 5k, uh, 5K gold to try and get the Nadat experience. But I only had Decapitate uh, drop in once and I really regret not buying it because uh, it's still better than none, right? Either way, leaving all that on the side, this is a limited time mini, guys. You're only going to be able to power up uh, this troop during the Halloween event. Now, it does appear on the grid. They do have some offers for it and you can get uh, quite a few stars from uh, here, from the uh, Hallows End event. Now. You can't really get that many. You can get one from here. And then I think you can get four, uh, seven. So you can get eight in total, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So enough to make him uh, enough to make him a common. If you're lucky to have him drop on the grid, you're going to be able to power, uh, power this mini up a bit, uh, a bit more, right? What exactly can this mini do, right? Uh, it comes at a five gold cost. He, he is definitely not a bad, uh, not a bad unit. And I feel like with the, uh, Right talent with Nade that experience is going to be absolutely massive. Stunning the nearby enemies, uh, healing himself back. I feel like he's definitely really, really nice. Fall around and find out. Don't lose your head against this pumpkin tossing speedy skirmisher. So he does have a range attack and a melee attack as well. Um, AoE damage, poisonous, bombard, elemental, fast, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. He does have all of the traits definitions right here, just in case if you are curious. Basically, he's gonna poison and then he's gonna start uh, attacking the enemies with a melee attack, which is pretty, pretty good. Now we're gonna run him in this deck, guys. We're gonna do a couple of PvP matches and we're going to do some PvE challenges because uh, you do have a lot of quests that uh, uh, are basically requiring you to use him in order to uh, complete those uh, quests for the Halo event, right? So we have the uh, we have the bats in here as well, dire battlings. I've already made a video on this uh, on this mini. Pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting as well. This is not limited time, uh, unlike the headless horseman. I do have a talent for that one. We're gonna have the quill board. And we're going to have the witch doctor, of course. We're gonna have the fire elemental tank, and we're gonna use the blizzard spell together with Baron. This week's modifiers, guys, we have Rocket Tower, Gold Rush, and Heroes Resolve. The more often we're using our leader, the higher the level, basically. Not the best rotation to bring in the battlings, but you know what? We're still gonna, we're still gonna do it, just to have some nice uh, flying units in there. It is pretty hard to climb from here, honestly. I'm just getting uh, players that are way above my level. So let's see, what do we have here? Night, night, night. <laughs> Level 10 as well. Okay, beautiful. Most likely, uh, most likely we're going to get our ass whooped, but let's see. Let's see. So he's using Y Sarah the Dreamer. Let's put a tank in here. Let's put our leader as well. And uh, let's put a range unit. Okay, so he's bringing in a massive, massive tank. He's counting on unbound units most likely. Let's apply, apply a bit of pressure right there. Let's put a spell, deal a bit of damage. Still not gonna be enough though because uh because of that freaking powerful tank but either way either way we might be able to to cook something here dealing a bit of damage right there let's let's deploy the headless uh actually no we gotta put the we gotta put the battlings because we have some uh flying units right there let's put the headless horseman right here ah that aoe attack okay spell incoming Let's put a Quillbow right there. Come on, Headless Horseman, don't let us down. You see, if you would have that talent to stun the enemies in a group like that, guys, it would be massive. And on top of it, of course, you have the 
uh, you have the stun, which which is absolutely brilliant. Let's do that. Put a bit of a a bit of a spell on them. Okay, we went to sleep as well. Let's not allow him to take that gold, though. Let's not allow him to take that gold. Deploy some battlings, some more range units. We definitely need a tank, but we're gonna drop in another spell on them. Okay. Quillboard to distract a little bit. We're not making much, much progress. That's fine. We gotta put in a tank as well. Oh, that tower. That tower. Headless horseman, head in. Okay, we have a we have a dragon coming our way. A Drake. We need, we need a spell to save us right there. Quillboard to distract a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, Quillboard, get that job done. It does have increased gold production, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty nasty, to be honest. Adler's Horseman in action. Not really going to do much versus, uh, uh, versus the Ancient War. That, that spell, that spell might be coming in clutch. Okay, so let's deploy another tank right there. We gotta put our leader just so we can start gaining a few levels on it. Because he is gaining levels on his, right? So that's uh, definitely something to keep in mind. At least we managed to deal a bit of damage. We gotta, we gotta take the gold from here, man. I miss getting that gold. Let's do that. You're not taking the rest of the gold. And we need, a, we need a spell again. A little bit of damage on the building as well in the process. Okay. So we gotta apply a bit of more pressure on the other side. Try to get his other tower maybe. So we're still getting the gold from there, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna put a spell on this side right here. Try to get that flying unit down. And let's... Uh, Let's see, I think, I think we might manage to take, take that tower down. Beautiful. Job done. Uh, okay. It's coming that way, which is fine. Okay. <laughs> Seems like it changed course. Interesting. It just changed course right there. It's no point to basically put the battlings right there. We can do it now because uh, that AOE was nasty. Where is our headless horseman? Come on. Drop that poison. Bang, beautiful. Drop a spell right there. And now go and attack that uh, tower. Let's put the battlings on the left side because that tower is distracted with the right side. Should be able to take everything down. Ah, at a limit. Okay, we have the headless horseman. We're counting on you. We are counting on you. Let's do that. Let's put the battlings right there. Let's put another, another tank right there. Lots of action happening here, guys. Let's put a spell right there. Get a bit of more damage on his tower. Let's put another, another range unit. The Headless Horseman dealing some serious damage right there. I wish we, uh, we could see the damage from all of the troops at the end of the battle. That would be nice. Maybe there is a way and I'm not aware of it. Who knows? Who knows? But I really don't think there is. That would be nice, though. That would be very nice. Just kind of like have an idea which one of the minis uh, performed uh, the best, basically, you know? Uh, let's kick in with another PvP battle, guys. Then we're going to head over to PvE. Do a couple of challenges with the Headless Horseman. I cannot wait to get that talent on him, though. He's, he's going to make him so much better. And I'll be honest, the cost of uh, five, 5 gold is a bit high. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad unit. So we have a level eight. Let's get some gold. We've done a pretty poor job at controlling the gold uh, previously. Let's put a range unit right there. Let's deploy the headless horseman. Put in the battlings and let's get ready to drop a spell right here. Okay, beautiful. Let's uh, get the gold from there. Managed to get that chest, unfortunately. Let's put a quill board, let's put another headless horseman, let's put another leader, another baron. And as soon as we can drop a spell, I'll drop it right here. Okay, so we are we are absolutely smashing this one. Look at the headless horseman dropping the poison and then moving on to AoE uh, AoE, moving on to uh, melee hits. Let's do that right there. Put another headless horseman to come from the other direction. Uh put a 
range unit with him just in case if he needs a bit of help. Drop that poison on them. Let's see you in action. Beautiful. Put a spell to support him a little bit right there. We took the gold. We're doing much, much better at controlling the gold though. Much, much better. Let's put a range unit. We have a flying tank incoming. Let's drop a spell right there. Get all those, uh, get all those minis. My god, we were a bit slow right there to uh, defend our, uh, our headless horseman. We were a bit slow there. Let's put a quillboard to distract a little bit. Another range unit. The battlings doing the job. Getting down, that, uh, getting down that mini. Let's deploy another headless horseman right here to deal with that, uh, with that tank. And uh, let's get the gold. Let's put the battlings. Let's put another quillboard rider to distract a little bit. We're safe on the other side. The headless horseman collecting the gold. And drop the spell to bring home the victory. Or almost. Almost there. Almost there to bring on the victory. Let's put the... Dire battlings right here on the side. Let's put another headless horseman, another quillboard, and the headless horseman should sh should get the tower down, but seems like he's not. So let's give him a bit of a assist with our spell right there, and uh, the final blow coming in from the headless horseman. I really like uh, I really like the mini to be honest. I feel like he's definitely uh, definitely pretty interesting. Uh, I'm so bummed that uh, I haven't bought the other talent that dropped. Bloodlust would have been nice as well on kill, you know, for five seconds. Uh, would have been a, a, good, uh, a good enhancement over nothing, basically. So, if we're going to head over to quests, as I was mentioning, I really like the way they've done it. So, two of them are normal, then you have the one that's part of the event, and you can just head in here and uh, basically g uh, get all of the missions, challenges, quests done for the Halo event, right? Okay, let's let's crack on with this. So we're gonna put a tank right here. I feel like I need to get uh, I need to get stones with the headless horseman. So we're gonna have to basically wait a little bit till it spawns. Let's put a miner right there and let's put a battling so we can spawn the headless horseman and go over and take uh, take that um, meeting stone. Okay. That will actually help me for my uh, for my mission slash quests slash however you guys call them. I feel like I'm always calling them different though. I'm always calling them different. I deployed a bit uh, too early that uh, that unit right there because my meeting stone was now ready. Let's get that gold from there. And the headless horseman. Look at the the hits. He's not doing bad, right? He's definitely not uh, doing uh, bad. And there we go. We got we got this uh, done. Nice and uh, nice and sweet. So you gotta uh, capture meeting stones with the headless horseman. You gotta apply poisons. Uh, I can't really remember uh, all of them, but you gotta do quite a few, uh, quite a few different things. And I like how they rotate uh, all of the modifiers, buffs on daily basis, right? Sometimes you're gonna have to use the pumpkin spices to basically uh, deal damage. Look, apply burn or poison with the headless horseman. We still have to uh, do it, uh, basically. Poof. We gotta get 2,000, so we have quite a bit of work to do right there. Release enemies from pumpkins. So I like how they basically rotate with the witching trees and uh, all of the rest. Let's uh, let's do one more, guys. Let's do one more. So yeah, it would be amazing to see their damage at the end of the run. Devs, maybe, maybe in the future you might be bringing that in a in an update, you know, to show the total uh, the total damage from all of the all of the minis would be amazing. So we can start directly with the Headless Horseman right here. Put the Battlings. Ooh, I was not expecting that. You need to come right there. Okay. Turning back, let's uh, put that Pumpkin Spice right there. Put our Quillboard to deal a bit of damage as well. And yes, we should be taking over that. And let's deploy him again right here on the side. Throwing a poison as well. Good damage. Instantly kill that uh, mob. Now they are a bit... Uh, actually, they are at the same level with, uh, with the Headless Horseman. So it's not like they're under-leveled for, uh, for that. Let's uh, put a tank right there to distract a little bit. Another range unit. Oh no! They captured my, uh, my Headless Horseman. We gotta, we gotta put the battlings right here. Let's get that gold chest. And we gotta use the Pumpkin Spice. 
Reminds me of pumpkin spice latte. I don't know what, uh, why, guys, but it does. <laughs> it does. Okay, so we're going to deploy the Headless Horseman on the left side right here to deal with that. Fire Elemental Tank, higher level as well. Let's see if he's going to be able to uh, smash it. Okay, he decided to go the other way around. That's fine. There isn't much we can do about that. You know, you, you cannot control him all the time. When he wants to do something, he does it. He has a mind of its own. So we're going to deploy a tank right here to deal with that one. I'm supposed to put the battlings, honestly, but I'm just going to drop the battlings uh, right here. Give them a bit of a pumpkin spice. Uh, and hopefully we can get this quillbore right here to distract a bit. And the poison from the quillbore should, uh, should do nothing because they captured my, uh, my quillbore again. But yes, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about the Headless Horseman? Uh, have you tried the mini enough to kind of like uh, get a good feeling? You like the mini, you don't like the mini. Uh, I'll be honest, I would like it to be at a 4 gold cost. I feel like that would be absolutely perfect comparing him with other units in the game. I like that he has the AoE range, uh, range damage, then he just jumps in with, uh, with the melee attacks. And as I mentioned, that talent with a stun will be absolutely massive on him. Uh, as usual, appreciate all of you guys watching. Thanks again to Warcraft Rumble for sponsoring today's video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.